Hi guys, welcome to this video. If you're tuning in for this video, then you know it is my Ipsy June I'm bagging for 2018. And this is the bag I got. I got the yellow one. They had a blue, a pink, or a yellow you could get, and I got the yellow. So here's what the bag looks like. It's got this cute little heart. And then the back is you just a one colored yellow, and then you got the three different colored yellows. I think it's a really cute bag, but I really wish I would have got the blue one because yellow isn't my favorite color of all time or anything. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, let's just get into it. Um, actually, before we get into it, I want to mention this brush, which I claimed with my Ipsy points. I was finally able to use my Ipsy points. I joined back in October. And yeah, finally had enough points to get this. I think this was like 600 points. So it's really soft and nice. It's a concealer buffer brush. And I used it today to blend out my concealer. And I think it's gorgeous and awesome. So yeah, if you are wondering about this brush, because I was wondering, because it's kind of hard to find reviews on Ipsy products, I would say to get this if you have a chance. It's a really great brush. Okay. So now let's get into the bag. So it comes with a card, as always, and it says flying colors. So, you know, that's a theme, I guess. That's why they have three different color bags. And here's what the back looks like. And if you notice, it does have a little um, paragraph about the MAC Prep and Prime. Um, I'm assuming that you're only going to get this card if you got the MAC Prep and Prime, which I did. So, yeah, if you want to pause it and read it, you can. And I'm just going to go ahead and talk about the MAC Prep and Prime since that was on the card. So, this is the first product. And I've never tried this before. It's a little sample size, so I'm not going to waste it because I really do like this. But it comes out like a white lotion. And it has little glitters all in it. I didn't really notice that my skin was like really radiant or illuminated with this but my skin was extremely soft like it felt like a baby's bottom my face did after I put this on and I really think it helped blur my imperfections I do have textured skin and large pores around this area and I think they look really good and I think that my foundation went on really great with this so yeah I really do like this product um, I don't know if I said it or not at the beginning of the video, but um, everything in the bag I have tried. Um, except one thing, so let's pull that out. And that is the Cake Deserted Island Totally to Die For Supreme Body Mousse. Let's see if it is nice. So I did smell it, but I didn't put it on my hands. So I'm going to put it on my hands. It's just a lotion. But, you know what, I really enjoy getting lotions from them. Sometimes I like getting simple things. Like, I'm almost out of lotion, and then they've sent me a little travel size lotion. This is going to be great for my purse. So, you know, just a lotion. And feels very moisturizing. For sure. I don't have, ooh. It smells like vanilla. And maybe some coconut oil. Smells nice. Let me read the back, see if it has any information about it on the back. So it says we put in coconut oil, I was right, mango butter, aloe vera gel, or aloe vera oil, I'm sorry, macadamia nut oil, sunflower seed oil, and then it says we leave out parabens, phthalates. I don't know what that is. Something bad, obviously. GMOs, mineral oil, petroleum, and triclosan. I don't know. So basically, they leave out the bad stuff. It says apply a small amount to hands and massage into skin. So, yeah. It says body mousse, but yet it tells you to put it on your hands. Well, it don't matter. That's what I'll be using it for is hand cream. So I really do like this as well. So, yeah. So far, so good, right? So, next product is the Hannah Lee Lip Treatment in Mauve Pink. So, wow, I just dropped the top. It's a little bitty thing, but it's basically a lip balm, y'all. And if I can get some out. So, it comes out really hard. I don't like that. I wish, because I don't have, like, a lip brush, and I really don't want to apply this to my fingers. But, I have no choice. So, I'm wearing it on my lips right now. It definitely has that mauve pink to it. And there is what it looks like when it comes out. Let me rub it in. 
and it just feels, you know, like a bomb, and it's got that light pink tint to it. I probably shouldn't have rubbed it in as much so y'all could see the light pink tint. But yeah, it's just a lip balm, which is going to be great for over top of lipsticks or underneath a matte lipstick to make it go on great. Or even by itself, you know. Like, this mauve really doesn't go with the peachy eyes, but I wanted to try it anyway. So, I do like this as well. So, let's see what's next. Next is this Pacifica Tomboy Vibe Natural Mineral Eyeshadow. So, it's a little eyeshadow quad, and it comes with, or it ain't a quad, is it? No, it's got five shadows, so it's just an eyeshadow palette, since it's not a quad. Uh, yeah, and it just has all the names on the back of the packaging. I really like this. This is cute. And so is the packaging. And then, open it up, if I can get it open comes with a little sponge thing that I don't really use. And then it comes with these shades. So I guess I will swatch the shades for you. This first one is called Tomboy. And then this one is called 1970. This is called Pretty Vacant. This one's called Schooled. And then this last one is called Rebel. So, here's what they look like on my finger. I think I'm just going to give y'all guys a swatch of them straight up. Wow. Now, I did use this today. That, that swatch is out of line with the others. Oh, well. So, I did use this today, and I use this one and this one in my crease, the brown and the matte brownish red. I use that all in my crease, and then I put this on my lid, which is a beautiful color. And then the green, I tried to put that under my lash line, but it doesn't look good. Now I know why it's called 1970. Just looking at it and thinking about the name 1970. Yeah, that is. That's the 1970 Puke Green. This color does not go, and neither does this one. I mean, I shut all over, I don't care. Neither does this one. This one is a beautiful silver, like, taupey. I wouldn't even say taupey. It's just a silver. It's really beautiful. But these two colors do not go with these three. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. Like, at all. Let me wipe that off. But, yep, that's the colors in this eyeshadow palette. And I really do like these first three, but then, and I like this one, but you would have to use something different. Like, they don't have a transition shade in this little palette, nor do they have a highlight shade. I actually use my highlighter for my inner corner and my brow bone. So, I don't really like this palette too much, just because um, I'm trying out this CoverGirl um what is it? The CoverGirl Peach Punch Palette. And I feel like that palette has some of these shades. Like these warmer shades. So it's not really anything special to me. But someone else might really enjoy this. Alright. So moving on. And this is the last product. Isn't it? So this is the Nomad Stockholm Midnight Sun. It is an illuminated highlighting powder. That's what it says on the back. Smooth, blendable highlighter with fine champagne pearls and infused with blackout or black current extract to help illuminate your skin inside and out. Free of parabens, mineral oil, and the flathiates thing again, like the lotion said. I don't know what the hell that is. It's spelled P H T H A L A T E S. So, yeah. So, anyway, this is what it comes like. It's really, really little. If you use a really big brush for highlighting, I doubt you're going to be able to get it in here, but I use a small brush and it fits perfect. So, yeah, so here's what it looks like. It has an imprint, and I don't know if it's an M, because I didn't even, like, think about to look at the imprint on it. I don't know if it's an M or if it's, like, a Roman numeral. It's probably an N. I mean, it's by the brand Nomad. But it also looks like it has a little C right there next to the M. I don't know if you guys can see or not. See the little C right there? I don't know. Anyway, it's a really pretty highlight. Like, this is the first highlight I've ever got. And I did not have to go in but once with it. Do you see it? It's also, it's on my cheekbones, my nose, right there. Which is, 
I kind of blended away up there. And then also my inner corner and my brow bone. And this highlight, I only had to go in one time with this with my brush. Usually I have to build the highlight up like two or three times, sometimes even more than that with drugstore highlighters. So I really love this little highlight. It's so cute and little. I don't mind how little it is. I like it. It's really pretty. Really pretty. I don't know why I'm talking like this. It's just really cute and little, so I want to talk like that. Okay, so that is it. That is all that's in here. So let's rate the, uh, the bag as a whole. Like I said in my previous videos, I rate it one to six stars because I like to rate the bag. And even though yellow isn't my favorite color, I like the little heart zipper and it's not ugly. So I'm going to go ahead and give the bag a star and I'm going to give this highlight, if I can get it back in the little box, I'm going to give this little highlight a star because I love it. It's beautiful. It's going to save me some time from having to build up my highlight. And then the MAC Prep and Prime, this was my favorite because that made my skin so baby soft. Like, this might be the first product I've got from Ipsy that I really want to get the whole full size. So, yeah. Love that. That's three stars. Love this. This smells great. That's four stars. This is awesome. I really like this. I like lip balms. Like I said, I like simple stuff like the lotions and the lip balms they send. I actually like those. So, um, what are we working with? This is five stars. And then, here's the last product to rate and it's the Pacifica Tomboy Vibe. I'm not giving this a star just because it's not my favorite. Like, I don't know. They didn't do a very good job arranging these colors if you ask me. But, you know, if you're someone else you know, you might love this. But I'm not going to give it a star. I'm probably going to give it away. So, yeah. That's five. Um, and if you wanted to count my little Ipsy Point thing, it'd be six out of six stars. But we ain't counting this because this is not included in anyone else's bag unless... They get it with their ipsy points. So anyway, yeah, five out of six stars. I think that is really, really awesome. I can't really remember, you know, my previous ratings. You know, I don't really remember them all. But I will say, uh, this is the best bag I've ever got from ipsy so far. Like I said, I've been subscribed since October. So this is my ninth bag. And this is the best one so far. Like, I liked pretty much every product. I even like the eyeshadow palette. It's just that... I have one that I like better because it has more shades in it, you know? And I think the shades are better. Like, these shades are only similar. And that eyeshadow palette, they're not the exact same as that CoverGirl one. I don't know. I just don't find myself that I'm going to be reaching for that eyeshadow palette. But, yeah. So, I really, really like this bag. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, way to go, Ipsy, for finally giving me a bag that I can really use and love every product except that eyeshadow palette. So this was my Ipsy for June 2018. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did then give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.